Do you feel like you've lost your way? Are you overwhelmed and anxious on a daily basis? Do you feel like you're too stressed out to enjoy life? If so, you've landed in the right place. The Gratitude to Bliss show is about stressing less and feeling blessed. It's about figuring out what matters most, letting go of what doesn't, and creating a life that makes you feel happy and alive. I'm Lorraine Miller, mom, health coach, award-winning author, infertility survivor, and recovering stressaholic. And I'm on a mission to help you overcome overwhelm, improve your health, and find your bliss. The best part, it's so easy to get started. The Gratitude to Bliss show starts now. Hello and welcome to episode three of the Gratitude to Bliss show, the place to be to get your vitamin G. I'm Lorraine Miller, your host, and I'm so excited for today's show. I have an incredible guest today. Her name is Maria Gabrielle. She is a business and life strategist, a TEDx speaker, an award-winning author, and the voice behind MariaGabrielle.com. Her strategies have been featured on Fox, CBS, NBC, NPR, and more. And I'm super duper excited to welcome you here today, Maria. I'm really excited to be here too. Thank you for having me. Ah, so happy to have you. So Maria, tell us a little bit about the work you do with women. So yeah, I, for almost a decade now, I, I'm always, I think back, I'm like, has it been that long already? But yeah, for almost a decade now, I've been helping overwhelmed business women just find time for self-care and personal growth while scaling their business. And we've been doing that through customized time hacking strategies, streamlining, automation, all sorts of systems um, so that they can increase their productivity and actually enjoy more time freedom because that's what they wanted their business for at the end of the day, right? And, and we do that so that they can actually experience uh, more work-life flow and harmony, I call, without the, the daily grind and all the sacrifices that come with starting a business that people don't really talk about. So that's, that's something I'm really grateful for uh, every single day. And I think gratitude in itself is what you know, keeps me going, just lights me up, which is why I love that we're having this conversation, which is why I love your conversation. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. And and helping them contribute something positive to the world because that's what your clients do, right? Absolutely. So it's it's women business owners. They are so we do have there's also male clients, but the idea is uh these are really just heart-centered um business owners, they're givers. So the whole reason why they're doing this is, yes, they get to make money, they get to scale and grow their business, and they have more time to, you know, enjoy with their loved ones and do all the things that they love to do. But more than anything, like their why, when you really connect with their big why, it's so that they can give back. That's, and that's, you know, whenever I'm on a phone with a client, a potential client, I, I always want to hear the big why behind what they're doing and if it pulls on my heart then I'm all in to to support them you know so so for sure I think today's business you know owner and entrepreneur is is looking for something more than just making money you know financial freedom is awesome but they get to a point even when they're scaling and they're reaching their financial goals I find that every single person gets to this point where they're like why am I doing this you know there's like a void so they all go back to that deeper purpose. So absolutely, yeah, to your point, connecting with, a, making an impact, yeah. I love that. And I love what we're gonna talk about today. And I think it not only applies to people who are starting a new business or people who are wanting to grow their existing business, or maybe they have a dream of, of a business they wanna start, but it, it's also gonna help people that are not necessarily in traditional business roles, like teachers and artists and moms and caregivers and, and all, all of us who want to make a positive contribution, just bringing it back to the why, you know, why do we do what we do and how to bring gratitude to it. Um, but in terms of starting a business, when we are just starting out, we tend to think of things like 
or, or whether it's a business or maybe it's a project we want to take on or even taking on a new job, we think about like the details, like, do I need a website? Do I need to do social media? Do I need to open a new bank account? We think about all those things, right? But what yeah. I am interested in and in talking to you about is like, how do we bring gratitude in? How can gratitude play a role in, in your business, in your, in your work, in your purpose? And how does it set us up for success? Yeah, that's such a good question, right? I, I think everybody should be asking that question, especially when they start the entrepreneurial journey or any any big project, like you said, to your point, right? Like, how do I keep this going? Because there's going to be so many bumps and there's going to be so many challenges. These are going to be actually your golden nuggets that are going to lead you to success. So you got to hang tight through those rough patches so that you can keep going and one of the things that I do personally, but also share professionally with the people that I work with is, um, you know, I have this intake form and every single week, every single week that we get on for our call, the first question is, what are the top three things you're most grateful for, you know? And the reason for that, it, you know, prepares us for the session, of course, and it and it's also something that helps them create this habit of remembering to be grateful for everything they did in this past week or in this morning to get to that call, you know, with work, with life, to really connect with that and put them in a state because your state is everything. And when you hit that gratitude state, it sets you up for an amazing day and it sets up the wiring in your brain to remember and acknowledge and celebrate everything, every action you took to get to this next point. And even if it, if it looked messy, because there's gonna be so many hot messes along that growth you know, uh, journey, uh, along the business journey, but it's like when you can connect with the wins and, or even just the fact that you woke up to a brand new day to do these next, all these moving parts, all these to do's, the fact that you had this opportunity to do it all over again is what gets you to um, say that exactly. I get to mm. do this today, you know? So, and, and why not work that way, right? Like imagine doing that every day. I know this is your, your cup of tea. Like it changes everything, right? It changes everything. And it, it's just, it really, when we're talking about success, whether it's life success or business success, it's, it's like a necessary ingredient. Like it has to be there and successful business leaders all over the world for decades or, you know, people for centuries have been using gratitude in their lives. And when we struggle, when we get down on ourselves, it, I find it's a thing that's like so accessible that you can just cling to, to turn everything around. Like it's, it's just like this amazing thing, like, oh, right. I get to have a business. I get to decide certain things about my business. I get to create rather than, oh, this is so hard. I don't think I can do this anymore. Or this is so hard. I I feel like I'm failing. Like that negative self-talk, even though it may be what you're feeling, and I always think it's important to honor your feelings, but here, it, but here we have this tool, this vitamin, vitamin G, that can just support us and, and remind us that it's a blessing. It's a gift. And even can, can you talk a little bit about like how the struggles of business are a blessing and how without them, um, you're not necessarily growing in your business. Yeah. So true. Right. Any, so the way I see it and, and gratitude really ties into this. It's, it's a, it's a hard reality sometimes, but it can also be such a beautiful perspective a beautiful way to see reality is there's you know having your own business or starting a new project or starting a business or even scaling it even when you're successful getting to that next level or to your desired goal is is going that it, it means it's going to 
bring in a lot of hardships. It, there's, it's no easy feat to start your business. I want to be very honest with that because people paint this like, oh, you have to travel the world. And it's like, let's also be real. There's a lot of moving parts and they're going to freak you out and you're going to get overwhelmed. And even when you try to take them on at first, it, you're going to stumble and it's going to hurt. And But, you know, it's all those moments. I'm even grateful for those moments because I find those to be the feedback that that allows me to then get back up, do it again and do it better. That's the information. That's the gold literally on your path, like the golden token. I, I know I've shared this with you. It's like the Mario Brothers game. You have to get that golden token and, and get that energy and learn from level one before you get to level two. You can't bypass it. And mm -hmm. if you can be thankful for the information that it's given you and the growth that it's allowing for you, and the wisdom that is providing you instead of being like, oh my God, I can't do this. Not that you're not going to feel that to your point, but if you can just reframe it and see how much value it brings into your journey and your life on the day to day, that's when it keeps the wheel moving. That's what keeps you going. And that's what's going to take you to the next level onto your destination. So bringing in that gratitude for even the mess ups, all the fails is, is key, right? Like, that's life. So bring that into business as well, you know? Right. And having the awareness beforehand that, that it's going to happen. I think that's why it's so helpful to have a coach too. So really preparing people, like you said, to be realistic before things happen, like, okay, we're going to hit bumps, things are going to happen, but those are going to be good things. Those are things you should embrace and welcome and as hard as it might feel just knowing that they're the stepping stones yeah and not just in business but in life right we all go through growing pains and you know think about like like a toddler learning to walk yes. falling down they get right back up they don't stay down there they just keep getting back up and that's um <laughs> you know that's how that's how it is when, when you're growing, right? You want to grow your business, just like a child growing wants to be in that next expansive place and experience more. And that's why I think it's just so great to have like that foundation in place so that when you run into these obstacles, you, you have, you have that cushion to fall back on. You have that thing that just picks you up. So you can keep going. Absolutely. Agreed. I love your example of the child, the toddler. They don't just stay there or beat themselves up or, you know, negative self-talk. They're just like, I got places to go. I'm going. I have <laughs> you know, a destination. And it's that reward system that they did it again and they hit that next level. So that dopamine hit that that child is getting, copy that gratitude will give you that same dopamine hit to get up and keep going and that you know it, it prompts that reward system so my gosh it goes such a long way so yeah love this conversation me, me too so let's talk about like the daily practices that you have that you mentioned the state of gratitude right you're putting yourself you you've always been somebody that i've admired because no matter where I've seen you in whatever situation, you you just have this positive energy that just flows from you. And um, it's such, you're just such a good role model for staying in the light and staying positive. And you, it's like you have, you operate on a daily basis at a high vibration. So I'm curious, how do you maintain that? What's your self-care routine like? How do you coach your clients in the day-to-day -day stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that, my friend. And I just, I want to just love on you for a second too, because uh, I have seen you in moments where where like it literally feels like the world around is crumbling down and you just come in with this light and this conversation of grad you know let's take a look at this and see how this is happening for us not to us and and just that amazing healing reframe that you offer to the table I I have seen people react to it with a, a an inhale a breath like oh yeah 
So, you know, I love you for that. And, and so I want to thank you as well for bringing that to our community and, and grateful to be here with you alongside you. And I think it's, it's that, that's the key, you know, in moments when <laughs> I think there was a time when I had to do it consciously, like I had to stop and, and through a coach also, like I had to really just stop and think of even how crappy things are like in my personal life whether it was you know my health was suffering or my marriage was suffering I was I had to stop and intentionally take the time out to bring in gratitude so it wasn't always there right so I want to I want to say that for for some people it's just there and I that's amazing and then for some of us it's like anything else like a habit you have to do it every day. Like you're going to go to the gym and then eventually you crave being in that state. You crave the gym, right? So, and then it goes on autopilot. You're just, it's in your routine. So it's like the same, same methodology, same idea, you know, eventually after I got over some big life bumps and of course that brings in even more gratitude that I was able to like overcome it. Right. And you're like, Oh my God. Yes. So that in itself now has me on all, being in that state all the time where people are like, you're always in this positive state. Thank you. Thank you, God, you know? Um, and it's because it's on autopilot at this point. So I do want to stress, like, I want to highlight that the more you do something, the more ingrained it becomes. And so on a daily basis, I love it's what's on autopilot is from my window, my bedroom window. The first thing that I see is, is nature. I see God and it's now my fourth year in, and I swear it never gets old. I wake up every day saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you that I'm here, that I get to see this, that I get to see you, that I feel you. So that boom just sets the day. And then I do have a prayer right after. And then um, I actually, before I have a, a certain practice with my family too, I'm grateful for even like the hardships that maybe my, my son got into a car accident, you know, I'm grateful for what he learned from that and that he's alive, <laughs> you know, and what, what else we get to teach him. So I have family gratitude. And then before I get on a call with a client, I'm grateful for their presence and the exchange we get to have in our lives and everything that they get to do and that we get to do together. And then that gratitude comes into that call that we're having together, you know? So I'm like, I'm, so thankful for you showing up today. I'm so thankful for the wins that you shared in your form. So it's things like that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, that's so beautiful. So we're going to go to break soon, but I just want to mention, I love that you, that you brought up dopamine because that's one of the side effects that they've measured when people practice gratitude. So I love that you framed it that way, that it, it's almost like, why not use gratitude in that way? Like just do it every day. I always encourage people to start out writing in a gratitude journal and then it becomes a habit, but then you crave it, right? You notice, you notice when you're not taking your vitamin G because you're not getting that dopamine hit. So if for all the things that can give you a dopamine hit, this is probably the best thing to go to first. So yeah. with that, we're going to go to break. Um, but uh, before that, how can people find you, Maria? How, do, how can they connect with you? Sure. So I have a, a little gift um, that I'll, I, you know, I would love to share with everyone here. And it takes everyone through a lot of what we talked about and systems and strategies and things that they can do every day so that they can increase their productivity, you know, do more by working less, right? And and actually enjoy their time freedom um, and scale at the same time without the overwhelm. And that's through, uh, you could just go to my mariagabrielle.com slash workshop. That's what, that's the specific link for that. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take a break now. And when we come back, we're going to talk more about how gratitude helps us in business and in life. I'm Lorraine Miller, your host of the Gratitude to Bliss show, the place to be to get your vitamin G. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Did you know that people who practice gratitude regularly report feeling 20 to 25% happier after just a few weeks? 
Do you want to learn more about this amazing tool and how to make it work for you to improve your health, relationships, career, and more? Meet Lorraine Miller, gratitude expert, health coach, award-winning author, and mom who has been making a difference in people's lives for over 10 years. Learn her simple yet powerful approach for letting gratitude work miracles in your life by attending one of Lorraine's online workshops. Sign up at gratitudetobliss.com slash events and use code TTN for special savings. Hi, we're back and you are listening to the Gratitude to Bliss show, the place to be to get your vitamin G. I'm Lorraine Miller, your host, and my guest today is Maria Gabrielle. And we are having an amazing conversation about gratitude and bringing it into your work life. Maria, I want to ask you, how do you see gratitude supporting people in achieving the goals that they have for themselves in the, in their business, in their life? Yeah. So I think it's important to just, as you're looking at your goals, right, we all kind of get technical and strategic and, you know, outline our goals and create the roadmap and all the things that you need to do. It's, it's necessary, but it's also important to not forget the internal gain, right? That's the external gain, you being in action, but then there's also that internal game, like we talked about, like, how do you keep yourself going? And if you can, you know, if you can just honor every step that you took. So if you start to like schedule and prioritize on your calendar, let's say, for example, so that you can take those next three actions that are going to get you closer to your goal. Great. You know, once you achieve those three things and you took care of them and you checked off your top three items now you are actually three steps closer to your goal right so you move the needle you're getting there so even just stopping and noticing and acknowledging those three things even the one step that you took in that direction in the right direction is massive and you also have to remember it's what the majority of the world doesn't do right so the fact that you are on your path and you're moving forward and you've got momentum it's taking that time to stop and say, oh my gosh, I got to do this today. I'm healthy, I'm alive, I'm well, I got to do X today. And mm -hmm. it provided this result, it moved me closer. So really taking that time to just acknowledge it is a, a game changer. Like we said, it actually, there's neurochemistry that goes on and this is science. It's not just you and I talking about it because we love it so much. This is backed up mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's actually the practice that keeps you going when it gets tough, right? So a lot of times for type A's and overachievers and big givers, we just go, go, go and keep doing, doing, doing. And we forget to to stop and thank ourselves the way we would our kids, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So we got to give ourselves that self-love too. Yeah, so I agree. It, it's so important to appreciate yourself and to practice self-gratitude and to appreciate just the small things. And even... Let's say you didn't get anything done in a day, but just holding space for those goals and appreciating, okay, I'm, I'm still on my path. It didn't work out today. I didn't get the things done I didn't want to, but I'm so grateful that I'm on this journey and allowing it to unfold. I think that's something that's a really important message that I've heard you share many times. It's like, well, let's just see how things unfold. Let's just stay in the moment. Yeah. And, you know, if we need to pivot here, pivot there, it's okay because we have, you know, we have this foundation. We have this, we, we have clarity and we have goals and, and we're grateful for whatever, whatever direction life brings us or our business brings us. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you help women with overwhelm and stress. And I think that, you know, that's a, that seems to be like the way everyone is today. Like everyone is overwhelmed. There's just more and more and more and more, more. So what about like prioritizing and saying no to things and 
getting that focus and that clarity in your business, how do you, how do you help people with that? That's huge. I love that you just touched on that, Lorraine, because honestly, people, so burnout now is considered by the WHO, it's officially uh, categorized as a disease that uh, is fatal. It's categorized as a fatal disease that causes, I think, like 600,000, you know, chronic illness. And it's just, the numbers are getting crazy. And so- I suicide too, I imagine. Yeah. And, you know, as far in the context of this conversation, why not take this vitamin and avoid that chronic illness, you know, or this like classification of disease now, you know, just take that dose, you know, and just a few minutes a day, take that pill. And, you know, again, in, in the context of this conversation, when it comes to business, women are off ramping by the millions from their dream they're, they're shutting down their businesses because of overwhelm and burnout. And that's just like seriously heartbreaking, especially when we're trying to trailblaze for the next generation, like show them, yeah, you could start, you can, if you have a dream, go do it. But then no one's telling them there's going to be hardship there. You know, no one's painting the full picture and here's how you overcome these obstacles. That's what we really, that's my big why, you know? And so it's important to have conversations about how do we eliminate this overwhelm and how do we navigate this, you know, when it comes to following our heart's desire and our dreams. And so um, I think it's that awareness that we talked about first, like, okay, it's not going to be all roses along the path, right? So there's that reality. And then, you know, in when it comes to, you know, specific business owners, it's, it's okay to not do nothing and practice the power of no. That power of no is what's actually going to open up the possibility for the things that are most aligned for you. Saying, saying yes to everything is going to shut you down. It's not mm. sustainable. So acknowledging what your core values are and what you want to be congruent with and being aligned with your values and following that as your compass and being thankful that you're clear on that too and that you have a compass is what's going to get you to say yes to the right things and no to the things that aren't aligned and being okay with that and not having FOMO, you know? Right. Um, and feeling grateful for that. Yes. Yeah. And, and having the support, having the support around this and the intention, I think, I think is important. Yeah. Um, so we have to close soon, but I, I just want to take a moment for our, to, to be grateful. So we have our grateful moment and Emily, our producer is going to spin the wheel of gratitude for us. So Emily, let us know what it lands on. Okay, Lorraine, today the wheel landed on exercise. Exercise. Oh, I love exercising. So take a moment, everyone, to just think about what role exercise plays in your life. If it gives you an opportunity to get outdoors, if it just makes you feel good, if just, you know, walking and moving, um, whatever exercise is for you, just take a moment to connect with your heart and just feel gratitude for the gift of exercise. And when you connect to that feeling, you're applying this special sauce to vitamin G. And it's the feeling that really puts us in that, that high vibration, right, Maria, that, that sustains us and prevents us from burning out and going down that rabbit hole of saying yes to everything and um and burning out right yeah um so thank you so much for sharing all your wisdom today this has been an incredible conversation i am always so grateful for you um just remind everyone how to get in touch with you how to stay in contact with you 
Yeah, thank you for creating this space, for putting this message out and for being the light that you are and for having me here. I, I love our time together always. And <laughs> yeah, for anybody that wants to connect, I, you can always find me on my site, mariagabrielle.com and also on Instagram, which is mariagabrielle underscore business coach. And you can always just check out that uh, workshop at uh, mariagabrielle.com slash workshop for more info. Awesome. And everyone, you can find me on Facebook. I'm the Grateful Health Coach on Instagram at Gratitude to Bliss. And you can visit my website, gratitude to bliss.com. And you can order my award-winning journal from Gratitude to Bliss to help you get started with your own gratitude practice. Thank you so much, Emily and the Transformation Network. Thank you, Maria. And remember, everyone, I love you. Take your vitamin G. Thank you for listening to the Gratitude to Bliss show. The place to be to get your vitamin G. In today's stressful world, you need an attitude of gratitude to stay healthy and positive. And the vitamin G practice I teach is the best way to make sure you get your daily dose. Join me, Lorraine Miller, every first and third Friday at 1230 Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. And let gratitude improve your health, relationships, career, and so much more. Get excited at GratitudeToBliss.com. I love you. Take your vitamin G.